good evening friends this series of audio recordings are done at the banks of holy river ganga in deep himalayas this is the same region where about 12 years back i was initiated into the holy science or art of self realization or buddhahood there are no words which can describe the power of this the spiritual power of this region or kshetra but for example like every place on earth has its own speciality has its own ecosystem has its own environment which fosters a certain kind of development in the similar way this region or kshetra provides the ecosystem the environment the conditions and the power required for a serious seeker of spirituality to reach or to realize the ultimate goal of human life the goal the objective of self awareness awareness of our natural state as it is so if you are a serious spiritual seeker or even if you intend to be a to be a serious spiritual seeker in future this place can provide all the help encouragement and the power you need and the first topic recorded is a very famous saying of a very great master the father of kriya yoga in this new age lehri mashay and one of the popular sayings and highly shared sayings of lehri mashay is banat banat ban jaye what does it mean what does banat banat ban jaye mean although it sounds very simple it sounds very mundane it is very mundane its application is very mundane but because it comes from the writings and the works of lehri mashay that perhaps we should go little deeper into these words any phrase words sentence any sutra has to be understood within a context and not only the immediate context or the place the time but also who is saying the phrase who is saying where did he say that when did he say that and to whom did he say that so these four dynamics are part of the context that we have to take into consideration when we try and understand these phrases or mahavakyas or the messages from these great 
masters our understanding of what the meaning is or what was the real message of the phrase will also depend on who we are so if i am a lay person if i am a physical materialistic person a normal person who is not much interested in the spiritual field then for me this phrase is a very mundane phrase this phrase can be used to achieve day to day targets and long term targets or greater goals but if i am someone who's interested in spirituality then the same phrase means something else for me and then if i am also uh, not only a, a spiritual seeker but a deeply interested spiritual being a very serious and uh, uh, sincere spiritual seeker then the same vakya so the same uh, phrase can mean uh, a whole lot different to me so someone who has uh, rediscovered himself or is aware of his true nature or self realized then the meaning or the message of the same phrase can be a whole lot di- different so lot of uh, factors need to be understood and taken into consideration when we try to understand the sayings of great spiritual beings whether it is in scriptures or in their writings or in their words there is there are multiple meanings to even the most simplest things they have said and these multiple layers of meanings can only be discovered by someone who is aware of all these levels all these dynamics this is our approach in trying to understand this great uh, phrase from lehri mashaya literally speaking this phrase can be translated into building building and built building building and built another way to understand the same phrase is step by step one by one we reach the top of the ladder or the peak of the mountain now one thing is very 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 central in this phrase whether you look at it from a mundane level or from a gross spiritual level or from a subtle level and that thing is that this phrase is talking about a process process the things happen that everything around us is nothing but a process and creation itself is a great process slowly slowly without giving up we can achieve any goal or objective so this is the general understanding on the mundane level the second approach adopted to understand this phrase is a spiritual approach but at a gross level at the level of someone who is into spirituality he or she may not be very serious about it may not have spent a lot of time on it but is interested or has started his or her journey so this is the meaning from their angle banat banat ban jaye for a spiritual person at the gross level means practicing practicing you reach perfection or practicing practicing one reaches the state of self perfection self realization this view is also supported in many scriptures whether it is yoga or vedanta 
और अद्वैत्य प्रैक्टिस प्रैक्टिस एंड पेशेंस और परसिवेरेंस इज द की सो वट एवर यू डू वेदर इज प्रेयर चैंटिंग इट बी प्रैक्टिस ऑफ योर जपा मेडिटेशन एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ प्राणायामा क्रिया योगा कुंडलिनी योगा मेडिटेशन ऑन साउंड और जस्ट ऑब्जर्व योर सेल्फ वट एवर प्रैक्टिस यू डू बी रेगुलर इन इट until it becomes your second nature or your habit your daily routine so this is what lady mahasaya meant for when he said those words banat banat ban jaye let keep practicing kriya keep practicing silence mona keep watching yourself become aware of the silence within and without until that silence becomes your second nature until it becomes part and parcel of your own personality now we move on to the third uh, approach adopted in understanding this great saying of lari mashaya bharat bharat ban jaye is na a spiritual approach but on a more subtle level in hindi we say sukshma and this approach the third approach is from a perspective of a very serious or a serious spiritual seeker and if you consider yourself to be a serious spiritual seeker then this is what lady mashai's phrase means for you never ever lose focus never ever lose sight of your destination never ever get distracted from your goal and your goal is self realization so indirectly it means never ever lose sight of your real nature never ever lose sight of your true state 